man. How's everyone doing? Good to see everybody. All right. Whoa. We are streaming in. Good to see everyone. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Instagram. In case you're not um, connected on Instagram, we can connect there as well. Hello, hello. We've got Alex in the house, Larry in the house. Let us know where you're watching from around the world. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see the boxes. Actually, I'll, I'll move Instagram real quick. So we've got some mail time to get to. There it is on Instagram. Thanks for tuning in. Matthew's in the house. Oh, yeah. Larry's here again. Let's see. Keelan's here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bijan is here. Joey's here. And can you hear me? That's always a critical uh, question to ask. Whew. Let me grab my coffee. Hope everybody's doing well. Need a little coffee, a little pick-me-up. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Oh, man. Luke is here. Cool. Pedro's here from Waco, Texas. Luke from Seattle. Oh, man, Luke, I feel for you. You guys need some rain up there, man. Matthias is here from the Netherlands. Okay, Scott is watching from Wigan, UK. Savitas is watching from India. Tiara from Denver. All right, Tiara, that's awesome. Uh, shout out to Denver. How about our Nuggets, Tiara? I don't know if you're a Nuggets fan. Nuggets winning game seven last night. Okay, Andres is here. Joe is here from London over on Instagram. William is from Denmark. Official Park is from uh, Pennsylvania. Good to see everybody. Yeah, it's a little bit of a surprise live stream. You know, I wasn't really planning it, but here we go. Forest of Dean Runner, shout out. Actually, we'll, we're going to put you, hold on, Forest of Dean. We're going to put you on the, put you on, everybody. There's Forest of Dean Runner, a great YouTuber and runner from the UK. All right, we got Patrick in the house from Lincoln, UK. Sean is watching. Oh, yeah, Sean, I'm glad you brought it up. Okay. How was your run today? Maybe you haven't ran yet, but how was your run today? What did you do? Uh, did you do a workout, mi middle distance run, easy day, chilling out? Oh, cheers, everybody. Good to see you. Okay, loud and clear. Okay, hopefully hopefully I'm not too loud. Thank you. But Sean did buttered nine miles today. Okay, and then April is watching from Dallas, Texas, over on Instagram. Thanks for being here, April. Okay, so here is the game plan. Joey says, much love from Massachusetts. Oh, man. Thank you, Garrett. I appreciate that. A little super chat from Love the Vids. Keep them coming. Thank you, Garrett. I will. I will. You know the drill. I've been going for four and a half years of daily vlogging, so I don't think I'm going to stop anytime soon. All right. Thank you, Garrett, for that super chat. Let's see. Aunt Anderson did 15 miles. Oh, good one. I did 14. Almost as not quite as long as you. Uh, easy day, easy day later on. William did 800 intervals, 800, 800, 400, 400 times two. That's a good workout, William. Awesome. Uh, Belgium in the house. Aif Corman. Sorry, I'm not saying it right. Thank you for watching from Belgium. Okay. South Africa is in the house. Sweet. Oh, uh, good to see everyone. All right. Let me just jump back over to YouTube and see if I can't see some... Oh, yeah. Parker in the house from Iowa. Hello, Parker. Yeah, Nuggets, says Tiara. You better believe it. I, I'm a big sports fan. I love running in general, but I love sports as well. Like, big, you know, uh, basketball, hockey, football. Sorry, Denver Nuggets won last night in Game 7. It was a big deal. Tiara's watching. Okay. Cameron is here. Cameron. Very good, Cameron. Th good to see you, sir. All right, so here's the game plan. I'm going to open up some boxes, and then, yes, this right up here um, on YouTube, you can see it. On Let me move the camera on Instagram real quick. This guy right there is uh, a pair of running shoes. So let me get out the knife. Hold on. Matt is watching from Castle Rock. Okay, I'll set this over here. And, yes, we've got more marathon racing shoes right over there. You all know the drill, the RC Elite the Endorphin Pro, and the Brooks Hyperion Elite 2. Michael's watching from Philly. Philly in the house. All right, that's awesome. So good to see everyone. Man, okay, here's the deal. Let me get the knife. All right, these are going to, we're going to open these last. Hold on, put those over there. Okay, this, this just arrived, and I think I know what's in here. Oh, and I'm very, very excited about it. Hello, Danny from London. Awesome, Danny. Man, I tell you what. 
the United States is a very strong presence on the vlog, of course. But the UK is like throwing down. The UK, they, you guys do not mess around in the UK. Shout out to the UK. Oh my goodness, the stream is going wild, going wild. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's just open this. These are not running shoes, by the way. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can you see it, everybody? Oh, thanks, everybody, for watching on Instagram. You better believe it. Oh, yeah. Coffee from Canoe Creek Coffee Roaster. Chimney Rocks. Everyone, if YouTube could transmit smells through the Internet, you would be passing out right now. You'd be passing out. It's just that simple. This smells so, so so good. You know how much I love coffee. I'm a slight addict. Yes, I'll admit it. I'm a slight addict. Coal Creek Coffee Roaster, a rotating blend of coffees that is roasted dark to offer a rich and bold taste. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. This is from Steve. Thank you, Steve, so, so much. All right. We'll put that down there and then one more box real quick and then we'll get to those shoes so sweet luke is watching hold on let me just jump back into the into the chat at the end of 2020 i'm actually really excited to give all of you my full breakdown of the best outerwear from the last 12 months so for 2020 i can't do it every month or every quarter i just don't have the time to do the research well I got to say, there's a couple companies that continue, continue to rise up the ladder with respect to my favorite outerwear. And yes, this company, I got to say, at least at this point in 2020, is a top three company. It is um, Under Armour. Yeah, I know. Usually when I think of Under Armour, I think of football gear, basketball gear, not quite as much running gear. I'm telling you, the material that they're using in their outerwear. Now, this is a short, this is interesting. This is a tank, actually. Uh, but the material that they're using with respect to breathability um, is amazing. So, anyway, uh, this is from Under Armour. And let me just see what this is real quick. Again, good to see everyone. Let's see. Check in, check in. Luke is here. Ryan is here. Good to see you, Ryan. Hello and good afternoon from Arkansas. Justin, thanks for being here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. And then, let's see, let's see. Ryan says, my alma mater was sponsored by Under Armour. It was incredible. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, anyway, I, uh, I know they have a lot of money. They have a lot of resources, Under Armour, but... Their outerwear is pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Okay, shall we do this? I know you. I know you're here. Antoinette is here from Italy. Thanks for being here, Antoinette. And then Richard is here from, uh, in England. Awesome, so cool. All right, I know you're waiting. Okay, Justin is, and I'm gonna uh, answer some questions here in a minute. Uh, there was one here. Yes, I am going to. Oh, did you send the coffee? I, I'm going to enjoy the coffee. You better believe it. But uh, let me know if you sent the coffee. Mm, somebody asked about the Casio watch. So for everyone, I'm testing I'm testing out this Casio watch. Kind of crazy. Uh, it's, a, it's a little clunky, but it's been fun. It's different, but it's fun. And uh, it's definitely a throwback to the 90s. I'll just put it that way. Okay, here we go. Winner, winner. Let me just make sure we're still filming all over the place. I'm filming for the vlog as well, so you're going to see this on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, uh-huh. All right. A one and a two and a one, two, three. Here we go. Uh, you better believe it. Are you see this? Oh, hello. A tray you in the house. A tray you. Oh, my, my. Look at that, everybody. Oh, yeah. So, as you know, if you've been watching the vlog in the last couple days, I have been testing, I'm um, sorry, I've been preparing for the next Matrix vlog, all about the marathon racing shoe Matrix, uh, for the marathon racing shoe Matrix vlog. And yes, I was just waiting. 
and waiting to see if the Atreyu shoes would show up in time. And yes, they did show up in the nick of time to make the Marathon Racing Shoe Matrix vlog. So there they are, Atreyu. Oh man, so this is their version of uh, a marathon race. Actually, since you're here, right? And act, I don't, I, I frankly don't know. I don't know. Let me just see here. Hold on. Hmm. I don't. Okay. Interesting. I don't know the stack height. I don't know a lot of the specs. Like this is a brand new shoe. I don't think it's being shipped yet. And again, this is just so new. So let me take this out real quick here. Hold on. And let me, oh, let me, cause you're here live. You better believe, you better believe we're going to weigh it right now. This is fascinating. Okay. Let me put these down here. Okay. Let me, let me open up this one as well. So this is a Treyu. Um, hold on here. Oh my goodness. And I'll get you a good look at the shoe here in a second. Okay. Let me just take this tag, take this tag off. Okay. So any guesses? Okay. My size, this is great. My size seven and a half us, you know, all the other shoes that I've been testing for the marathon racing shoe matrix vlog. If you can remember in my size, think my size, how much guess in the comments, how much do you think this shoe weighs from a tray you? Okay. So they remember all these guys over here. All right, let me just pull this out and then uh, we'll get the guesses going here. Hold on. Hold on. My guess. Hmm. Actually, I don't want to guess yet. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to feel it out here. Mm hmm. So, uh, and I'm going to go with stack height hold on let's just do some eyeball test here i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with about 35 in the heel and then about uh i'm gonna go 28 in the forefoot is my guess okay um so let's see if i can remember if i can remember oh man now i'm putting myself on the spot i'm gonna go with so what was the RC Elite? Hold on, hold on. RC Elite in my size was six. Oh man, you guys got to help me out. It was six point. Um, I think it was six point six. I think the Endorphin Pro was six point seven, and then the well, I guess I can put it on the scale. But anyway, here we go. I'm putting it on the scale right now. The Atreyu. I'm gonna go with six point one. That's my guess. 6.1, right around 6.1. Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ready for this? Ready for this? Uh-huh. Oh, Nelly. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I wish I could. Actually, I can show Instagram. I don't think I can show YouTube. So, Instagram. You ready? You got to vouch for me, Instagram. You ready for this? So, I'm going to move the camera here. All right. So, sorry, everybody on YouTube. I can't move your camera. Actually, maybe I could. Oh, man. That's going to be crazy. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. You ready? Oh, there it is. Can you see that? Five... Okay, let's see. Let's see. Actually, let, now let me do YouTube. Let me do YouTube. Let me move this camera. This is risky. Risky YouTube. Very risky. You ready for this? Can you see it? Oh, yeah. 5.8 ounces. 5.8 ounces in my size. That is amazing. That is anything under six ounces for a marathon racing shoe is awesome in fact i'm trying to think i think hold on okay hold on hold on there it is let's do it a6 meta racer i think the a6 meta racer is a little lighter or right on that okay let's do it let's put it on the scale a6 meta racer versus the atreyu this is so fun all right you ready for this i think the meta racer it feels a little lighter it's so close ready for this a6 meta racer nope oh 6.3 for the meta racer 5.8 that is epic. This is great news. Cannot wait to test. Okay, everyone. Okay, enough geeking out. Let's answer some questions. Oh, sorry, Diego. Sorry, Diego. Let's put it into grams. I apologize, everybody outside the U.S. Okay, I'm putting the Atreyu back on the scale. In grams, we're looking at 
164 grams. 164 grams. That's awesome. So 164 grams, 5.8 ounces, and then the Asics Meta Racer was 6.3, so almost a half an ounce more. All right, what questions do you have for me? We'll hang out for a few minutes here in the studio. Hope you're doing well today. And uh, I need my coffee. That's what I need. So, ah, it's very light. It's very light. Okay, yes, Radeon. So I just I just waited again. It's, um. oh, hold on. Just messed up this camera. Hold on one second. Got to be careful here in the studio. Sorry, YouTube. It's a little bit of a... Hold on. Can you see me? Can you see me? Ugh. Not quite. Hold on. Hold on. And thanks for bearing with me. And I'm still trying to figure out the best scenario here in the studio. And I haven't forgotten about you either, Instagram. Any questions for me? Um, somebody's asking what about the upper of the shoes? Let's just feel it out. Like, it's, it's feeling soft. I mean soft i don't know what else to tell it's, it's feeling quite nice uh well let's I, I know for a fact it's going to be a very very nimble heel counter okay very nimble very nimble because their training shoe which it's somewhere out here um anyway was also very nimble so the lockdown we'll see what the lockdown is like and i will try and test this out as soon as possible uh, okay let's see more comments coming in I'm trying to find the question. Did you ever test a Reebok shoe? Stefan asked that. Yes, I have. The Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro was one of my favorite shoes of 2019. Very uh, three ounce, like under, I think it was just under four ounces. It's a five. I put it into the 5K racing shoe category, but um, oh, Matthias is asking. Good question. Okay. Uh, he's asking the, the durometer test. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah. Ooh. So pretty soft. Pretty soft. Yep. Okay. Can you Instagram? Can you see that there? Pretty soft. Absolutely. So that'll be interesting. Remember the RC Elite was also fairly soft. Okay. So yeah, pretty soft durometer test. Um, mm. And then we'll do this. Okay interesting interesting okay all right let's see more questions coming in mm -hmm. uh personally stefan i liked the uh like i just said the reebok float ride run fast pro you could also the new balance uh 5280 for a 5k road racing shoe um let's see let's see oh man and um oh man i'm just trying to find the question so many coming in um, I don't know what the price is going to be for this, actually. Uh, I'm not sure yet. So come back for the first impression vlog and it will be, uh, it'll definitely be in there. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Thanks, Ben, for being here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And let's see. I'm trying to find a question. Yes, Raul, I, I'm not sure what the cost of the shoe is. If anybody knows, but I just, I haven't heard yet um patrick i don't know the stack height or the drop so this is a brand new shoe i'm not i, I frankly outside of a tray you the company if you go on instagram uh you can see them talking about this shoe on instagram but i don't know anybody else who has this shoe i haven't seen it yet on the internet so i i will do you know i have this uh caliper gauge okay all right all right you put me on the spot I'll try and this this gauge. So I'm trying to save up money to buy a laser, everybody, just so you know. And a laser, I don't know how much they cost exactly, but it's basically a laser that can measure the stack height of shoes. Okay. This what I have found, this digital caliper, I have not found to be incredibly reliable or accurate. Um and you have to keep in mind. Running shoes measure stack heights a little differently. It's it's anyway. It's I think it's a little bit of a, a hotly uh, contested area for running shoe specs. So, for example, some running shoe companies don't include the insoles in their measurement. I always do because I consider it part of the stack height of the shoe. So I'm going to keep this in here. Let's just see. Let me zero this out. Okay. 
let's just put this on can everybody see that okay so like right now okay wow i'm getting a 36 or 37 in the heel okay so what did i say 35 i think was my guess so I'm getting a 36 or 37, and the other issue with this digital uh, caliper is that it, it's really difficult to measure the stack height of the forefoot because you have the upper to contest with, but I think this upper is so thin that I'll, let me just see here, hold on, and then also it comes down to like, okay, where do you actually measure on the forefoot? So it gets really complicated quickly, but let's just see, in the forefoot, I'm getting... I'm getting I'm getting about a 31. So that would put the shoe at about a six millimeter drop, which maybe it is a six millimeter. I'm gonna guess it's closer to an eight, but we'll see. Anyway, so it's all, I, I like this tool, but I don't rely on it 100%. I hope that makes sense to everybody. All right, okay, okay. Good question from Patrick. Mm-hmm, okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay, so somebody is saying they think it's, um, yeah. Okay, wow. Oh man, K is saying you should run a hundred K for a hundred thousand subs. I know. Someday, like I know my legs. My I gotta think about my legs. A hundred K is a long ways. Oh man, Yaki is saying a hundred dollars. Is that true? Okay, I also think you might have to be subscribed to a Treyu in order to get access to this shoe. I'm just one, I, I think, I think. So, um, all right, thank you all for, oh man, hello, Guillermo, watching from Aspen, a local. That's awesome. $100 for subscribers only. Okay, it sounds like a lot of people, yeah. All right, I do, I, I did hear you have to be subscribed, but $100. Okay, okay um will michael so everybody just so you know last night um actually we announced it in today's vlog so yes we are actually we are finally we are uh, registered for true loves 5k so it's going to be happening the pumpkin pie 5k november 21st here in denver come on out join up it's going to be fun eat some pumpkin pie afterward and we're in the 8 a.m wave so i'm running with true love and Michael asked, will she be wearing vapor flies? I don't think so. But hey, who knows? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll splurge and get True Love some vapor flies. Uh, but that's, that's, a, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, here we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Instagram. Sorry about that. Just knocked the phone over. Oh, thank you, Jacques, for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, He says um favorite marathon shoe well put me on the spot here put me on the spot i from okay from the shoes that i've actually raced in i would say definitely the next percent now i've done a time trial in the alpha fly but man um the vapor weave upper of the next percent is a little difficult at times to get excited about but Oh man, I do appreciate the next percent. And yes, I will give you more. But that was before I tested all of these shoes over here. So, so many more shoes have come on to the market since then. Okay, I'm just looking for some more questions. Um Let's see Val Oh man, so many. I'm just looking here, looking here. You are welcome for the kudos on Strava. Yes, if we are not connected yet on Strava, we should connect there. Look me up. Um, Jello, Gilo asking, what shoe would you run a 10K or a half marathon? Um, I would opt, honest, well, frankly, right now I have put the Meta Racer often more so in the half marathon category than the marathon category. So I would consider this guy, the Asics Meta Racer, 100%. Good question. Um, and then 10K, I mean the 10K, gosh. Ooh, man. I I like a, a shoe that's leaner. Um, hmm. I haven't raced many 10Ks. Actually, I was going to do a 10K this year, the Boulder Boulder. For all the locals, you know what that what race that is, but it was canceled because of the pandemic. So I just haven't raced a 10K in a long time. But the Asics Meta Racer for a half 
marathon. Actually, let me put this shoe over on the shelf. We're gonna we're gonna replace the Endorphin Pro here. Okay, get the Atreyu, the artist. I love it. I love it. I love it. There it is. Can everyone see that over there? Awesome. Yo, what's up, Jason? Good to see everyone. Okay, I'm going to take three more questions. David is in the house. Welcome, David. Thanks for being here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Um, yeah, so the insole of the Atreyu, I do know it is thick. Like, that's how they make their shoes. Is it five millimeters? You know, it's glued in, and I don't really feel like... Hold on. Let me just measure the insole here. Can everybody see this? Um, yeah, it's five millimeters. Yes. So um, somebody asked in the chat, how thick is the insole? It is, in fact, this caliper is saying 5.8 millimeters, okay? So just so you know, good question. All right, we'll take a couple more. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's see, let's see. Zoomfly Nike uh, Broughton asks, Nike Zoomfly 3 or Tempo Next Percent, which, which should I get? So you all know my answer to that. The Zoomfly 3. I just struggled. Te where is it? Is the Tempo Next Percent? It's got to be out here. Oh, man, I need to get more. Uh, hmm. I think they might be inside, actually. I'm telling you, the Tempo Next Percent just did not work out. And a lot of people are agreeing with me who are doing other running shoe reviews. They just struggled a little stiff. Um, I don't know what it was. I think the, I, I think a lot of it for me came down to the outsole rubber was just so stiff and kind of clunky. So anyway, I would go Zoom Fly 3 if I had the option. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, thanks for being here. On I haven't forgotten about all of you on Instagram either. Thanks for being here. Uh, the bicycle. Wow. Live time. Hey, Seth. Thanks for being here. It's on the wall. Um, okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. There's not much on their website right now. Okay. I'll take a couple more here. Robert asks, Vaporweave, Flyknit, or Atom Knit? So that's all about the Nike shoes. And it's hard to deny. I enjoyed actually. Okay. Since everyone's here and we're live and we're having fun in the studio, this is why. Whoa, sorry. Hold on. See, I got to get a. I'm working on a better system here. Sorry about that, YouTube. Sorry about that. Um, this is why I cut open running shoes. And some people get a little upset at me when I do that. But when I cut open a running shoe, I do not throw them away. I think some people think like that's a waste of a running shoe. But I don't view it that way because I keep them forever. All right. So, yes, I did cut open a, a Vaporfly 4% and then the next percent. And the reason I did that is for moments just like this so we can analyze them together and talk about them together here in the studio. All right. So here is the fly knit over here. Here's the vapor weave over here. I have not cut open the, the alpha flies um, and they're inside, unfortunately. But it's hard to deny, Robert, the Atom Knit. Like, the Atom Knit is very, very special. Um, I enjoyed the Fly Knit in 2000, I guess, 18. But I got to say, they've made tremendous strides forward since, as far as technologically, since the Fly Knit. I think it's a solid material, but I don't think it's nearly, it's not as breathable. Um, I like the feel of the Fly Knit over the Vapor Weave. I got to say the vapor weave has grown on me a little bit. It's I don't think it's um nearly as breathable as the Atom Knit once again and it feels a little bit like plastic almost. I'm um, sorry Instagram, there we go. Now you can see that as well. Um so anyway, yeah, the Atom Knit is a huge step forward for Nike with respect to their um with respect to their uppers. All right? Okay, we'll take one or two more. Joe asked, do I ever get tired of talking about running shoes? Nope, I do not. I do not. Uh-huh. Let's see. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 
Adamas favorite trail shoe. So I'm a big fan of the Solomon Speed Cross 5, even though it's a little heavy. I just like the feel of it for a kind of a slower day on the trails, slightly aggressive trail running. Um, but it's not a shoe to go fast in and it's a little heavy, but as far as a trainer, I do enjoy that. Okay. 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 This is a good one. What tips can you give for running uphill? Don't fight the mountain, float the mountain. What did I say before the Pikes Peak Marathon? <sighs> Arms back, like shoulder blades back. Okay. Open up that chest cavity so you can breathe better. All right. And then just focusing on... Don't, not fighting the mountain. You don't want to get into this. Just float it. Just float it. Just nice and light on your feet as much as possible. So anyway, a little um, a little uh, tip there for you. Okay, and back over to Instagram. Lenrique1979 asks, when is the 5K? So it is, it's November 21st is when we're doing the 5K. I'm going to run with true love. You better believe we're going to get a, a, a big cheering section there in City Park here in Denver. Maybe we'll live stream it. Yes. Should we live stream uh, true love's 5K? I think we should. Okay, and then one more coming in from Evan. Uh, the Marathon Shoe Matrix is going to be publishing as soon as possible. I wasn't sure if the Atreyu shoe was going to show up in time, but since it is here, I'm going to test this shoe probably Saturday morning, and then I will give my first impression Sunday morning. And then, um, so that means the Marathon Racing Shoe Matrix vlog will happen... Um, Monday morning, Tuesday morning, roughly. Okay, roughly. Ah, anyway, the research is in progress right now, right now. Let me just turn this back on. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Listen, I can't go live every day, but when I do, we'll try and open up some new shoes. Thanks for tuning in on Instagram and YouTube. Love you all. And um, we'll do this more often, all right? DGR Strong here in the studio. Onward and upward. Again, shout out to Atreyu. Thanks for sending. I did not buy these, just so you know. Atreyu sent me these. So cannot wait to test for all of you. All right, as we always say, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow, 5 a.m., 5 a.m. on YouTube. And here we go, here we go. And now, all right, this is always the challenging part, trying to finish. Boom. See ya.